In this video, we will be exploring the latest features in SAP Analytics Cloud. These include Enterprise Reporting Rights Management for Comments Data Analyzer Support for Live SAP HANA and SAP Analytics Cloud Models New Model and Data Action API for Analytic Applications Hi, my name is Orla Cullen and my name is Jessica Gutierrez, and these are your What's New updates for QRC2 2021. We have received many requests from customers to add the ability to create and consume reports in SAP Analytics Cloud as you would in a traditional BI application. So we've extended our layout options to enable our customers to create pixel-perfect reports. Firstly, we look at the topic of table pagination. There's no more scroll bar, as the table is now paginated, and we can use the new toolbar to navigate through the pages. The header is repeated on every page. However, as the user, you can decide if you want to remove this. We know how annoying it is when we have charts or tables overlapping. With relative positioning, we avoid overlapping when we add a new bar chart under our table. Even if the table has multiple pages and if we choose to expand rows, we do not see an overlap on our chart. With the introduction of sections, we now have a dedicated section which can focus on a specific dimension. For example, location. If we choose Dimension Member California, all subcharts and tables within the section are now filtered by California. Sections can also act as a console. By selecting Browse and Search Instances, we can then navigate through the members of the dimension within the section. We can also repeat the section per dimension member across the page by selecting Show All Instances on Pages. And finally, we can show one section per dimension member per page. Commenting on stories, analytical applications, and models within SAP Analytics Cloud is a powerful way for us to collaborate with our colleagues, especially now that a lot of us are working remotely. This is going to be so helpful. With QRC2 2021, we will bring you the ability to manage rights on who can view comments, who can comment, and who can edit and delete comments. We start by sharing a story with a number of our colleagues. While adding each of our colleagues, we can determine what commenting rights they should have in that story. For example, Sarah can read and view comments, but not delete and Alan can only view comments, but not add or delete. When we log in as Sarah, we can see she can add comments, but only delete her own comments. Similarly, Alan can view the comments just added by Sarah and others, but cannot add comments himself. This applies also to data point and widget comments. Rights can also be managed at the data model level. In the case of Steve, we can allow story commenting, but not commenting on data model level. When Steve logs in to SAP Analytics Cloud, he can neither see nor add comments at the data point level. However, he can still add comments to story widgets. We talked in Q1 about some exciting enhancements made to Data Analyzer. In Q2, we continue with adding support for Live HANA and SAP Analytics Cloud models. When we open the Data Source Selection Browser within Data Analyzer, we now see the option to select not only SAP BW queries, but also SAP HANA live calculation views and any SAP Analytics Cloud models. For ad hoc analysis on an SAP HANA live calculation view, you select your HANA live connection and then the view you wish to analyze. You can then use a designer panel for slice and dice analysis. We can simply select the dimensions and measures we wish to add or drag and drop them into the desired order within our table. The filter button allows us to apply filters on all dimensions and measures. For example, I may want to filter on all customers with revenue greater than a certain value.
Once complete, you can save your analysis as an insight, either in a public or private folder. So next time, you can launch your insight directly from the file repository. The same process can also be followed when accessing SAP Analytics Cloud models. One of the biggest changes coming this quarter is the introduction of the new model. This major overhaul of the model structure brings you greater flexibility and power in solution design. New models now include a dedicated measure dimension distinct from the existing account dimension. And although these changes mostly impact planning use cases, they can also be applied to analytic models. If you're wondering what will happen to your analytic applications using existing models, don't worry. The new model extends the excellent capabilities in SAP Analytics Cloud, and you're welcome to integrate the changes at your own pace. Let's take a look at some of the highlights in the initial release. You may now use accounts and measures in the same model. Formula-based calculations are now permitted on both accounts and measures. Currency conversion calculations using new data action capabilities can be set as persistent, and there are general system performance improvements for certain types of models. This is just the beginning when it comes to rethinking how modeling works in SAP Analytics Cloud. You can expect further enhancements to the new model in upcoming quarters. Our last, but by no means least, feature highlight for Q2 is the Data Action API. For those using SAP Analytics Cloud for planning, this will definitely be a welcome addition to your planning and analytics designer workflow. The Data Action API allows for execution selectively based on triggered events captured in the analytic application. As a user, you are able to customize the parameters sent to each data action execution. The beauty of this change is how much more robust and dynamic your planning applications can be. Not only does this allow you to automatically allow analytics designer to update based on certain events, but it allows you to chain multiple data actions together as part of the call. This dramatically improves usability and performance by allowing the analytic application author to pass context-sensitive parameters to the data action without any additional intervention. Thank you for joining us to learn more about the exciting enhancements coming to SAP Analytics Cloud in Q2 2021. As always, don't forget to check out our website for additional learning resources. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all things SAP Analytics Cloud. Thanks again and see you next time.